Okay, uh, here we go, come on. I was just going through all the videos and we said, gonna hit this one a little bit more in depth, uh, the how they made the cab, and I'll show the underbody too. Um, it just, it probably just measured from here, and I'm just assuming all this, you know, what I would do from working in a fabrication shop is that I would measure from here and do my mark, same on the other side, straight line across, and then up top. Measure from here, same distance, uh, straight across. But like I said, I would brace the inner side, doing a lot of uh, fabrication. Um, when you take out the, uh, we'll say, uh, the structure, you know, you open the structure, you give the possibility of the cab tweaking, flexing because of the heat you used to cut with, uh, a, a die grinder, uh, um, a cutting wheel, or a plasma cutter. Uh, it's it's going to warp a little bit of the the heat or the, the metal. So I do a brace up top and a brace down below. Or what we used to do is we do an, uh, an, X, an X brace in the center. And that way it keeps the cab. And I would do that to both. So the, the donor cab that you're using to cut up, put a brace in there and cut it. And then on the inner side of where you're going to be marrying the two together. Now, oh, oh, forgive me here. Ugh. So, you can actually see where they welded the two frames together. And all it is is just a section um, of where they welded it. So it just they cut the frame, um, welded it in. It's probably just a portion out of the donor cab. You know, you got all this long uh, piece of frame right here. You just cut it out, or it's part of a piece of C channel, and it just added it in. Now this is what I don't like about it is they. They put this uh, C channel in or portion of the frame and they added this uh, piece of angle iron. You can see, added a piece of angle iron and to brace the frame and they welded. They welded it all right there, uh, welded all that, see the gap that they left open, welded, gap, welded, but then they also, they did the same up top, so, and then along the sides, I can't really see it, but it's, that's the, if I ever wanted to make sure this frame is true and straight, uh, I'm going to have to deal with that, I'm going to have to cut from here off and cut all the way to here. And then uh, put in a new, put in a new portion of the frame, um, and that's that's the under bracing that they did. Um, you can see these are the back mounting bolts to uh, the bed, and it's probably some old mounting holes that they just put grommets in, and all this stuff. There's just a the bracing. That's all. That's all it really is. You can see where they did all the welding and the marrying of the cab together. There's a the split in the cab, but that's. That's just the portion of the uh, that they welded it together. You can see, which is so. That's really what you're going to run into. And just think about ways of doing it. What I personally would have done is, if you think about doing this, is um, I would do I would do a step. So I would cut and then bring it down. And then this way, um, so you almost make a Z pattern in there. So that it, it lines up. Um, I guess if I could draw it on something right here, I'll use one of these pieces of papers. <laughs> that is your frame. I would almost... Uh, wait. Oh. I would cut it at an angle 
but more towards the I guess more towards the center sorry so when you cut it would go like that so this would be the rear the front portion of the cat or the front portion of the frame and this would be your donor so you have this whole weld right here right here right here and then you got that weld up top rather than just two butts together like that is one thing I learned is your weld joint won't be as strong here and on the back side and then now you have you have the top portion and then you have down here right here and you get there and then you get the lower portion and then all on the inside it just disperses the load out a little bit more um, but that's that's how they married the cab together uh, the inside is nothing much different there's a uh, inside of there you can't really tell but it's all it really is is it's how they just put together both both cabs um hopefully that's hopefully that's what you were asking for uh, i can't remember the user that wanted that but I, that's all it is and uh, i'd obviously do a heck of a lot more than take your time and uh, instead of using bondo and crap and yeah, do it the right way because you definitely tell there's uh, the flaking of the paint and then bondo and right down here where i'm getting some rust but if you got any more questions uh, please ask uh, hopefully like i said i just did the video of the tire or the spacer before and that with the uh the body and frame um, again uh, just keep asking questions guys and i'll keep making videos as much as possible and getting back to answering you